Hey guys, welcome to another Captain Sabasa video, and I wanted to respond to Skill Puzzle Headed 53, 543, excuse me, um, in regards to his zero um, goalkeeper spirit. So apparently, the developers are rethinking on how they can change the spirit gauge for the goalkeeper the way players score against each other. So if you look at question number 14, it says currently the goal success rate is determined by shot power and amount of goalkeeper's spirit. We are now considering to make the goal will succeed. Su uh, this the way they wrote this is really weird. Will succeed when the goalkeepers are um their spirit is zero. It will not only depend on shooting power, but also the number of shots so you can adopt a strategy and will expand the scope of play. Please tell us your opinion. We will adjust the rate of critical and make it easier to reduce the spirit. Okay, so I chose there is probably another way to resolve this because I was in the fence. To me, it sounds like a good idea and at the same time, it kind of sounds like a bad idea. Um, but when you read closely, they said that it won't only depend on shooting power, meaning that it also will. So now let's go back to skill puzzle, um, his arguments. So he stated that he made a few arguments. Um, if you can score a goal, if and only if the goalkeeper spirit is or reaches zero, then his first point is abusers will employ any taxes, including wasting time, maybe resort to bird caging until the goalkeeper's V zone is full and use their super saves. Their method, no matter what, will resolve around filling the goalkeeper's V zone. This works in favor of abusers. Uh, this is a weird argument to me. Uh, no offense, skill puzzle. Um, and I'm, I, I'm only answering this. I didn't write any notes or anything. I'm just answering this as I go. Um, this is a weird argument because bird cages and that tactics happens if this change is going on or if this change is not going on. And keep in mind, just because you can recover your your uh, spirit, just because your spirit, um, just because you're not getting one hit goals, it's still the same thing. Sometimes I have to get the goalkeeper's spirit to zero in order to get a goal, unless I get a miracle goal, or unless I get someone like Kyuga who does like a one shot killer right on the goalkeeper's face. So I mean, at, this is number one is more of an assumption. And it's something that's happening right now and will always happen. In every single game, you will find someone that finds a way to exploit the game. Um, I've played in many games where no matter what patch you throw at it, um, that person is going to find a way to exploit the game. Um, the only time I resort to dirty tactics is if somebody is using dirty tactics themselves. You know, you got to play dirty when the other person's playing dirty. Uh, so number one is more of an assumption. It's something that's currently can still happen, even if they do the, the that update or if they don't. That's something that can happen. So I don't really see that as a good point, uh, but I understand where you're coming from. Uh, number two, in cases in which you don't have much time left, you are inedible to lose if the goalkeeper spirit is still full. One shot goals will aid in such hard times. It takes away your hopes to reverse things. You know, this right here, number two, that's more of, oh man, they took away the one shot uh, goals. And actually the one shot goals are a pain in the ass. Imagine one shot go, um, go against someone like Moeller or Wakabayashi who's supposed to be, you know, like a great player. So you wouldn't shot him uh, all the way, uh, he has full stamina, you have this overpowered custom character, and you can still one-shot Wakabayashi, even if you're not even in the penalty area. And that kind of sucks. Um, so actually, this is one reason I support, one of the reasons I support this change is to fight against those one-shot goals. Because it doesn't mean you still can't get one-shot goals. You still can. Um, there's going to have to be a little bit more prerequisites now. For example... Someone like Kyuga, who has Tiger Heart and his other skills in the last 15 or so minutes of the game, his power will be very, very high. Um, and 
someone like him can reduce your stamina from, let's say, 50 to zero and get something that feels like a one-shot goal. Or like 75 to, to zero or 15 and, you know, another shot will get it in. So in a way, this is a good way to reduce, not eliminate, reduce critical shots. When they're not eliminating critical shots, they're reducing it. So instead of getting some guy with overpowered uh, a power rating, getting one shot goal and not giving the goalkeeper a chance, you know, it's better to give the goalkeeper a chance. Also, it gives you more flexibility to use other goalkeepers. What they do need to implement and what they do need to change is they need to give every single goalkeeper a super safe, even if it's generic. And that's one thing I forgot to tell them in the survey. I might just take another survey and, and, and request that. We need every goalkeeper to have some sort of low tier super safe. I mean, if they don't want to give the, the middle school players a super safe, that's fine. But they need to give uh, play, players from the national team some type of super save. Uh, that's just my opinion. So yeah, that's what I, that's how I feel about number, what was that one? Number two? Yeah, that was number two. Uh, number three, the surprise goals will be eliminated. No more jaw dropping goals. It's nice to shoot and suddenly, <clears throat> excuse me, and suddenly the ball is in the net. Number three is false. Do not spread false rumors. Skillhead. That is not true. Uh, miracle goals do not depend on power. Miracle goals do not even care if the goalkeeper's spare is 180, 90, 50, 20, 15, 10, 5. It doesn't matter. A miracle goal to the top best players, well, there's a few of them, but two that I like to use to use miracle goals is Diaz and Sabasa. Um, Ishmael from Senegal is also really good. So those three can give you miracle goals all you want. Um, if you want a miracle goal, use Sabasa. I think he might be the best one. Um, yeah, so the miracle goals work on your tech. So for Sabasa, if you do heel lift a few times and you get his tech really high um, and you do his kneel drive shot, you can do it from half court, uh, half, half field, you launch it, it's a good chance you're going to get a miracle goal. I got one against Aswan and he was like full stamina, <laughs> full stamina. Um, it's called a miracle goal for a reason. Um, you need to aim the, the yellow bar, the shooting bar. Uh, you need to have high tech and some other skills need to be activated to help you, uh, to help that tech get higher. Uh, so yeah, so miracle goals are not going anywhere. That's staying, uh, 100% that's staying. So number three is false. Uh, goalies like Hernandez and Espada will be able to recover their spirit thanks to their V-zone. And skills scoring against them would be a pain in the ass, especially Hernandez. Okay, I understand where that's coming from, and that's not a bad point at all. Uh, but you need to do certain uh, prerequisites to heal the stamina. It's not like they can just you know wave at the crowd and heal heal their their spirit gauge. Um, you actually have to dribble, or the defense has to be a critical hit. There has to be certain prerequisites before you can heal that stamina. Will they be more suitable candidates for people that don't have a brain to want to use them? Probably, but I still would use someone like Genzo or Moeller or Aswan. I mean, and that's cool that now Hernandez is up there too. Um, I love Hernandez, and I feel like an uh, update like this would help out Hernandez because sometimes Hernandez, or most of the time, Hernandez gets blown by by super shots. So an update like this would definitely help out Hernandez, um, and help out Espada, who also feels like he gets blown away by power shots. So this update is not the end of the world, because I know um, Skill Puzzle has been posting a lot of concerns, but rest assured, pal, um, it's not going to be as bad as you think. And number five, this one, uh, this one makes no sense to me, uh, and I will tell you why. Strong players like Schneider or Hugo will be as equal as players like Takashi and Isawa in the sense that they can't score against goalkeepers like Hawanas or Harados with one shot. Imagine Schneider not being able to score with one shot against Ultimo's keeper. All that concentration. The fire in his eyes and the scream, hi fire. Well, meaningless 
will will be meaningless against Ultimate Keeper thanks to this shitty scoring system. Where's the Emperor's Pride and Ace Killer idea? No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that skill puzzle. Do not do that. That's not true. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why it's not true. First of all, Isawa has a shot known as Banana Shot. Okay? And I think Takashi has something called Precision Shot, if I remember correctly. Snyder has High Fire Shot. Hyuga has Neo Tiger Shot. You know, every move has a power rating. Every character has skills that buff their power rating. If you go back and read the survey, which I'll show you again, their survey specifically states, we are not considering to make the goal will succeed with the uh, goalkeeper spirit being zero. It will not, it will not only depend on shooting power, meaning that it will also depend on shooting power. So if you read between the lines where it says, it will not only depend on shooting power, meaning it still will, it still will depend on shooting power. So yes, do we still need to get the goalkeeper's stamina to zero? Yes, we do. But Hugo, for example, during the last minute of the game or when he's behind points, gets very powerful. Very, very powerful. Pressure monster and going inside the penalty area for Snyder makes him very deadly. So, do you think someone with banana shot that focuses on tech and has way reduced stats than Hugo or Snyder or someone like Takashi who also relies on tech is going to be in the same level as someone like Snyder or Hugo who have... Tremendous power stats, way stronger shot power, meaning it's kind of like this. It's like it's like a Street Fighter game, right? If, if, if let's say you and I have the same health, we're both about to die. And I do my special Shinku Hadouken and you do like a little Sonic Boom. Who's taking more damage, your little Sonic Boom or my Shinku Hadouken? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, we still have to get our life bars to zero, but we have different power ratings. Our moves have different power ratings. So that argument makes no sense, uh, skill puzzle. Sorry to tell you that. So I think in a way, number five correlates with number two. No, is it number two? Yes, with number two. Number two and number five correlate together because the one-shot goals are being protected. And that's when you give someone like Takashi and Isawa a meaningful chance to be on your team. Because there's no, there's no point in using those guys right now, right? There's absolutely no point. Unless you want to get a team, it's cost down, and you need someone like that just to bring the cost down. There's absolutely no reason to put those guys on your team. Maybe now there'll be a reason to put them on your team. You know, they should probably, they should probably reconsider other things like players getting injured or players uh, getting tired over time, maybe their stamina recovering slower. That way they give substitution. Um, that way substitution becomes an actual thing, an actual factor. Because if you look at games like Dream Team, the only reason to substitute is because the other guy can't use special moves anymore because he's too tired. So there has to be, I think, the substitution needs to be fixed and the super saves for the other national goalkeepers needs to be say uh fixed so let's look at number six skills like burning spirit never surrender be legendary would be dead well skills like destroyer would be an advantage no yes yes and no uh Kovalt's skill will be nice you know it would actually give him because right now Brian is not even a top tier. I don't. I don't really don't see him being used by players online. Uh, I really don't. So, if this change gives him more love, then that'll be awesome because he's supposed to be a great goalkeeper. So if his skill makes him unique, then that's awesome. But no, that's not gonna hurt things like Burning Spirit because Burning Spirit works when you're losing. When you're losing, remember you get more power. 
Hugo has a much stronger shot than Brian does. Even if he has a destroy skill. Your power stats, your moves power stats will affect the goalkeeper. It doesn't mean just because Brian has destroyer, he's going to do more damage than Hugo. It doesn't mean that. Now, if Hugo, if the game was tied, let's say we're in the second quarter, 35 minutes in, yes, now Brian will do more damage. But as the game progresses, Hugo becomes more hungry. He becomes stronger. If he's behind points, he's going to be dangerous. If it's 45 minutes in and behind points, you can bet your ass that is going to go from like 16 to 0. So you got to keep in mind that every character has different skills. Every move has different power ratings. Every skill is activated differently. Uh, so, I mean, I, I understand the concerns, skill puzzle. I really do. When I read that question, I'm just like, you know, when they said they wanted to change it, I'm like, no. Why would you do that? You know, I was, in the, I was in the fence too. But the more you think about it, you're like, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe this is a good idea against those people that just try to go to um, new hero mode and create these overpower uh, custom players just to get one shot goals. If, if you were, if you, I don't know, skill puzzle, if you were in the game when it first came out but if you were you would remember those days oh man people just used to use the tachibana brothers just to get a one-shot goal every single team i used to play against had two tachibana brothers in the corner another guy in the corner to support the two of them up it was horrible man so if you just would understand <laughs> how long of a way this game has come to avoid shit like that, you wouldn't be making these arguments. And I understand why they would want to make this, uh, the spirit gauge reach zero because they had to deal with a lot of players trying to one-shot everybody. Uh, so I get it. I get both sides. But your arguments, unfortunately, uh, my friend, it's not you know that valid. Um, you do have some good points here and there, but um, I think... The good outweighs the bad. Anyways, guys, that was just my take on the zero goalkeeper spirit. Take care.